all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the problem of uh, hacker at august circuits 2021 you can see over here and it is the second problem that i am going to discuss bitwise and sum okay so this problem basically requires the concept of bit manipulation and uh, like you have to be aware about how to handle with the bits what are the tricky cases how we can instead of having the brute force approach we can use some simple logics with the help of bits i uh, we can optimize our code okay so this problem requires us to find out what could be the value of an expression you can see this is going to be our expression and we need to just find it out the value and uh, what we have been said that uh, we have been given an array a it would consist of n positive integers and here is a function f of ij i am going to describe it all that with the help of examples for now let's just read it out first f of ij is going to denote the bitwise and of all the elements of the array okay so this is a uh, quite a confusing part here uh, if we have been said that bitwise uh, like f of 2 3 then what is going to denote is like uh, first we need to understand f of 2 3 will be the value of bitwise and of all the elements only after performing a certain replacement step you can see that if i will say f of ij is defined as bitwise and of all the elements of the array after replacing all the elements a in the range this to this that is i to g with 2 raised to the power 25 minus 1 okay so when we have been said that you need to calculate f of ij first you have to do is like replace all the elements in the range i to g both inclusive with a certain integer and that integer is 2 raised to the power 25 minus 1 okay and after doing that you need to find out the bitwise and of all the elements of this array now this is going to be really a hectic task but we are going to just uh, do some optimization to find out the best solution for this problem okay so what we are going to do is like we need to find out the value of this expression for every test case okay so we need to also use the fast input output method okay so let's move on to understand this problem with the help of examples and then we'll be together building up the best solution for this problem so let's move further okay so we need to find out the value of this expression summation like here is the double summation okay so i 1 to n and here is also summation g which is going to be start from i and it also goes up to n okay and uh, here is the function f of i g okay and after finding out we need to subtract the value of f of 1 comma 1 okay now that this also contains like this summation also contains f of 1 comma 1 we need we not to include like we should be careful that we are going to subtract this value okay so uh, what we are going to do is like first uh, we need to understand that we can do the brute force like if, uh, a0 a1 a2 and a3 are the four elements what we are going to do is you are going to uh, search for every i comma g pair like f12 like f1 of 1 f12 f13 and then f uh, yeah f01 f0203 then 1213 and so on either you can do that but what i would be thinking for is like how to optimize that now you need to understand that uh, like uh, there are some positions of bits let's say like this one okay so let's say this is a0 and this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 okay now let's say we are going to replace it with the value called 2 raised to the power 25 minus 1 okay so let's uh, first look over this smaller value i'm not going for this larger value 2 raised to the power 2 let's understand if i will write 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1 what is the value that is comes over it? it is like 15 so if you find out the bits corresponding to 15 you will find this one okay and if you notice over one thing that every element is going to lie between 2 raised to the power 25 like there are 25 places of bits where we can put either 1 or 0 so it means that we are going to fill up all the places of bits with 1 for all these integers in the range i to g okay if you are not going to understand no need to worry about what what will happen if i will write to 1 2 2 so if i will write 1 to 2 for this case and here you can see there are only 5 bits position so in this case what will happen is like uh, like i have just compressed this 25 to this 6 value you can see that Uh, yeah, six. 
that's why there are only six places of bits in all these like binary representation of all these numbers okay so first let's try to understand for this one what will happen if i will write one to two f of one two then in that case you can see that it doesn't matter what are the bits present over this a1 and uh, a2 we are going to replace all the bits with one that is all the bit positions that these will become one like right okay so this will give us a certain advantage like uh, previously suppose like if you are not going to do f of 1 2 right previously suppose there are like uh, 1 0 0 1 like uh, like at this bit position you can see that like at the zeroth bit position like there are the orientations like a0 is containing the set bit uh, set bit equal to 1 a1 is not containing any set bit equal to 1 and similarly a2 is not containing a3 is containing 1 Okay, what will happen when I do f of 1, 2? It means that all the bit positions at these will become as 1. Right, so you can see that previously we have there two zeros and these are all 1s. Now you can see that if I will perform the bitwise end of all the elements, there will be a set bit equal to 1 at this position in our answer. Okay. So doing this operation will increase the bitwise end of all the elements. Okay, it is not going to decrease. It is always either remains same or it all it is going to increase. So how we need to handle that? We can do the brute force. It would take up of n cube time. I think. So we need to optimize that. Okay. So let's move on to understand this problem in depth. Suppose so we have these elements: a0, a1, a2, a3. A4, A5, A6, and A7. Here I think there are eight elements: one, two, three, four, and the rest of the four. Okay. Now you can see that when I will do a certain f of i j, it is either going to increase the bitwise end of all the elements or remain same. Okay. Now just think upon that. Let's say I am just talking about the one first bit position, that is the zeroth bit pos position. Now, what is the current bitwise and if you do all the like bitwise and of all the elements, what is the value at this zero bit position for the answer? Okay, you can see that there is a there exists at least one zero. So bitwise and will be what? So let me write down bitwise and will be zero. And here also there exists at least one bitwise and will be zero. There also there exists at least one bitwise and will be zero. And here also zero. And here also zero. But here you can see that bit, there is no like there is no zero present at this position of so all the elements. So bitwise and will be one. Okay. Now uh, we are going to do this operation f of i j. So it will either put up uh, one over these places or it will remain as zero. So we need to find out whenever it will put one at a particular set bit position, then how many uh, like uh, how many distinct i comma j pair exist which is going to do that okay if you're not going to understand this let's take an example suppose so uh, we are going to do this operation like uh, f of okay f of zero like uh, first i'm taking i comma j as a zero based indexing so f of zero and uh, let's say five okay so if i will do f of zero and five all these bit positions you can see that will become as one right so if i will do that you can see that this zero will be replaced by one this zero will be replaced by one this zero will be replaced by one now you can see all the bit position becomes one so this will change to one similarly uh, you can see that if uh, this zero is replaced by one this zero will be replaced by one but still there exists at zero at this position yeah, I think, uh, wait a minute. So, yeah, this will also be replaced by one. So, there it will become one. So, whatever uh, the set bit equal to zero is lying in this range for any of the elements, it will become one. So, our bitwise and will change. So, doing the brute force is not an optimal way. We need to find that efficient way. Rather than calculating f of ij, we would do an inverse operation. An inverse operation is to what is the number of pairs of i comma j that we need to number of distinct pairs i comma j we are going to find 
which is making the bitwise and at this particular position like making the set bit equal to 1 at this particular position like if i will choose 0 to 5 you can see that set bit at this position was earlier as 0 like for all the elements bitwise and now it becomes 1 so it is contributing 2 raised to the power 0 to our answer it is incrementing and similarly if i will check out for this position you can see that from 0 to 5 it, all the zeros will become 1 so the entire bitwise and at this position like set bit equal to 0 was earlier at this position now it becomes 1 so it is going to increment our answer by 2 raised to the power 1 ok so we need to find it out that if I will assume that the bitwise and at this set bit position like this is the 0th position this is the first position this is the second position from the right hand side and this is the third and so on if i will just assume that the set bit at a position i uh, in the binary representation will become one in our answer then how many distinct pairs of i comma j that exist that is going to do that we need to find it out so let's try to understand how we are going to do that efficiently okay so yeah let me just uh, move back like uh, we are at here Okay, so yeah, so this can be easily done if you focus upon certain things like uh, you can see that first like I'm first talking about this position. Okay, so first zero is going to start from this position, right? And the last zero is occurring at the, this position. So if you are able to think upon this criteria, this uh, awesome condition like for uh, for any I, I will choose from this position, these positions like i equal to 0, i equal to 1, i equal to 2 and for any j I will pick up from these positions you can see that ok so I will write down for every i belongs to 0 to 2 and for every j belongs to 4 to 7 if I will choose any i belong to this one and any j belongs to this one so you can see that if I will do f of ij for any i and j belonging to these positions it will make bitwise and as 1 at that position in our answer like it will change to 1 why because suppose that if I will choose i over here and if I choose j over here on all these positions become 1 it will become 1 it will become 1 it will become 1 you can see that these all these bitwise and like all these set bits at these position will become 1 so it will contribute 1 to our end. Okay. So it means that in more generalized way, what we are going to do is like uh, for every set bit position, like from the right hand side of the binary representation, what we are going to do is like we are going to first find it out. What is the first position of 0 occurring in this one? Look, okay. So you, you are going to just say that first position of 0 occurring in this one is this one. So what is the number of uh, uh, different values of i that we can pick up you can see it is 3 and what is the last position of 0 it is this one what is the number of different j that we can pick up this is this one let's call it as x let's call it as y so number of ways of choosing the distinct pairs i comma j would be x into y okay and you need to just be careful that uh, okay you need to be careful that we are just subtracting this one f of 1 comma 1 so in that case you need to write down x comma y with the total number of ways minus 1 1 would be for when we choosing i as this one and j as this one like f of 1 comma n i think so f of 1 comma n okay yeah i think f of 1 comma n right yeah f of 1 comma n okay so this is the total number of ways uh, of choosing distinct pairs i comma z and this will uh, like for all these i comma z our answer would be incremented by how much value the set bit position value it is the zeroth position it is the first position it is the second position you can see the value of this position is 2 raised to the power 0 2 raised to the power 1 2 raised to the power 2 and so on it should be incremented by 2 raised to the power of uh, what is that 0 okay and if you talk about these positions what is the first zero occurring at this one it is this one what is the number of different ways I can choose i? You can see there are two ways. And what is the number of different ways I can choose j at this position? You can see that there are three different ways. 
and you need to subtract one because uh, you need to be very much careful that we are not going to include this f of 1 comma n when i is 1 0 and j is the last one subtract it and answer would be incremented by 2 raised to the power 1 okay so you can see that there are these are the number of like uh, for every value of i comma j chosen among these ranges it will increase the bitwise and of all the elements okay so we need to just find it out the what are the number of distinct pairs of i comma j i can choose that will increment our answer okay you need to do for all these set bit positions like this is zero this is first this is second this is third fourth and fifth and uh, it goes on till 25 because ai is like less than 2 raised to the power 25 now there is one more tricky case what is that tricky case you can see that what will happen when there is no more zeros present over here okay when there doesn't exist any zero you can see that uh, you can choose to total n into n plus 1 i think so upon 2 number of uh, like there are total n into n plus 1 upon 2 ways to choose i comma j distinct pair such that i should be less than equal to j okay so in that case you are going to choose you are going to have this amount of ways and you need to subtract one because uh, we are going to also discard the value of f of 1 comma n so when i is at this position and j is at this position you need to discard it okay so there are this amount of ways and uh, what is the value at this position let's say 2 raised to the power i so number of ways into this amount will inc will be incremented to your answer okay so let's move on to the coding part and analyze how the how it can be easily coded it up and we are going to have the efficient solution so let's move further okay so you can see i have written the code over here okay so let me just expand i don't know why it is not happening okay so why not i look for the submissions i've already done okay yeah so what i've done is like uh, first take the input okay and uh, what you have to do is you are going to iterate your marks from 0 to 25 and you are going to find out the first zero present over this bit position like this is the zero position it goes to 25 and count one count is going to count out the number of ways the where we can choose i which is count one and number of ways we can choose j which is count two okay and uh, just iterate it down and uh, just check it out if uh, we have encountered a zero over this position this while loop breaks and similarly from the uh, from the bottom side when we are going to find out the first zero we are going to break it out like last zero you can see that when we are just uh, moving from the bottom side it, it should be first zero okay so count two will store number of ways uh, like uh, number of distinct g's like uh, we have distinct i being as count one distinct j being as count two what will happen like if all the like all the set bits at this position are one for every element in that case so you can see that when this loop terminates i should be negative in that case our ways will be n into n plus one upon two otherwise our ways will be count one into count two we need to subtract one because we are not going to include f of 1 comma n okay so our current answer will be ways into the value of this position which is 2 raised to the power mass and our answer would be incremented by this value and finally print the answer so this will give you all test cases passed so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video